This video is brought to you by Envato, an online marketplace for digital assets and services for creators. Hey guys, what's up? This is Serge and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll take a look at the YouTuber Pack 3.0 for Final Cut Pro, designed by Digital Products 669. This template pack includes 100 items in one package, including 15 transitions, 10 YouTube end screen templates, 20 titles, 25 lower thirds, and more, all fully customizable. The template pack we'll be taking a look at today is designed for Apple Motion and Final Cut Pro, but it is also available for Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. If you're a YouTube creator, there's a lot of assets here that you'll find very useful. First thing you need to do is download the YouTube Pack 3.0 from Envato. Next, double click on the compressed file to unzip it. Inside this folder, you'll find all your titles and transition along with some very helpful instructions. Open the help documentation folder and open the included PDF. This is very helpful and you should take a few minutes to read this. Included in this PDF is instructions for installing all these plugins, along with a list of all the fonts used and a Dropbox link to download all the necessary fonts. So as per instructions, we'll select the title plugin folders and press Command C to copy them. Next, open another finder window, select your home folder and go to movies, motion templates, and titles. Press Command V to paste your selected folders in this destination. Next, go back to motion templates folder and open transitions. Command C to copy the transitions plugin from the first finder window and Command V to paste it into the transitions folder. Last thing we need to do before we can use these plugins is download and install all the necessary fonts. In the help documentation PDF, select and copy the provided Dropbox link. Paste this link into your web browser and download the attached file. Next, to install these fonts, double click on the compressed file to unzip it. In your finder window, select the applications folder and find an open font book. Click the plus button in the top left corner and navigate to your unzipped folder. Click open. In the validation window, check the select all fonts box and click the install check button. Close font book and if you have Final Cut Pro open, quit and restart it. Next, let's take a look at a few examples of the assets you get in this pack and how you can modify them. First, let's take a look at a bumper intro. Open your titles and generators browser and from the titles drop down, scroll down to the TYP logo reveals. Pick one of these logo reveal titles and drag and drop it into your timeline. For my example, I'll use number 18 and this is what the template looks like. Open the inspector window and select the title inspector. First thing we want to do is change the text. Move your playhead to a point in your clip where the title is fully revealed and in the inspector, scroll down until you see text holder 1 and 2. I'll go ahead and change the text on both of these lines. Now let's change the size and position to better line up with the logo. I'll increase the scale of my top line and change the Y offset to center it. For my bottom line, I'll leave the scale the same and just stretch out the tracking of my text to make it the same width as the line above. Next, let's replace the digital products logo with our own. Scroll up in the inspector until you see a drop zone for the logo. Click on the square and in the media browser, navigate to your logo. Select it and click apply clip. Use a slider under the drop zone to adjust the size. And last, let's adjust the colors to better match our brand colors. This is what we have so far. 
a nice intro clip for your videos. Now, this intro is 10 seconds long, which I feel is a little bit too long. If I ripple trim it, the animation speed doesn't change, so if I change the length to 5 seconds, that's barely enough time to reveal a full title. I'll press Command Z to undo that. Since this is a title clip, Final Cut Pro doesn't let you retime it. To get around that, select your title clip and press Option G to make it into a compound clip. Now I can press Command R and change the speed to two times. This speeds up the animation and gives me a nice five second intro for my videos. Next, let's take a look at how to add and modify custom YouTube transitions from this talk. Open the transitions browser and scroll down to the YTP transitions. Select your preferred transition and add it to your timeline, just like any other transition. Select the transition clip in your timeline and head up to the inspector window. Just like in the title clip, I'll add my logo and change the colors. You can also change the timing by simply ripple trimming the transition clip in your timeline. And last, let's take a look at one of the included end screen templates. YouTube allows you 20 seconds at the end of your video for interactive elements such as a subscribe button, video cards with links to other videos, and even a link to an approved website. Instead of placing these cards over your content, you can add and customize one of the end screens from this pack. In the Titles and Generators browser, select the TYP end screen category and pick an end screen you want to use in your video. Press E to append edited to your timeline. Now you can change the colors of the background, text, and other elements to better match your brand. If you want to add social media links to your end screen, you can insert them down here. First, select how many accounts you want to display, and scroll down to the social media text boxes. Add your usernames for your social accounts to display them in your end screen. When you upload your video to YouTube, you can add a clickable link to a video you want your viewers to watch next, but these only show up on certain devices. To make these thumbnails show up on all devices, you can insert either a video thumbnail or a video clip in these gray boxes. Click on each one of the drop zones in the inspector and select either an image or a video clip you want to display. Right under the drop zone boxes are text boxes for each text element you want to change in your end screen. Enter your text and adjust the appearance of it if necessary. And you're done. This is a much better alternative than having the end screen elements pop up over the content in your video. Like I mentioned before, the YouTuber Pack 3.0 has 100 unique elements you can use in your YouTube videos, and all of them work just like they're supposed to. I've tried almost all of them and haven't come across any issues. You get a lot of cool stuff for the price you pay, and I highly recommend it. Once again, I'd like to thank Envato for sponsoring this video and promoting independent creators that sell assets through their site. And a huge shout out to Digital Products 669 for creating this valuable plugin and other cool plugins. If you're interested in this plugin pack or any other Final Cut Pro plugins from either Digital Products 669 or any other creator, I'll leave a link in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.